Hello everyone and welcome back to another Train Sim World 3 first look video uh, for the uh, North East Corridor New York to Trenton. We're back in the Metroliner cab car. It's returned. It's in the game again. Whew. Uh, and we're going to be taking it from Sunnyside Yard, which I thought we'd take a look at, uh, into New York Penn. It's actually the second take. It's on the first take. The train got stuck in the tunnel and didn't have any power and it just it was a big mess. So we're doing it again. Um, so that to that, uh, we're not going to turn on the safety systems because yeah, that sort of that was the issue last time. It just didn't, it didn't, it didn't move. It didn't bother moving. So uh, there we go. Uh, we've got to wait for an Acela to move out first. Oh, there it is. It's already gone. Uh, but yeah, I did manage to get the Acela installed uh, for some reason just yet there. The hour, the the one hour I installed the other things, it just didn't want to do it, and then it did do it. Um, so we've got that on now. Let's change that one there. That's all good. Oh, we're, we're sort of slowly moving off. Well, we might as well. I think it has got the same sounds, but that's fine. Well, near enough the same sounds. I mean, they seemed all right anyway before. Uh, but yeah, this is Sunny Side Yard, so we're sort of on the eastern side of the route where the Long Island Railroad goes off, and you've got the Northeast Corridor up, sort of Hellgates Bridge, New Rush Railway. Uh, you've also got Long Island City and Hunters Point Avenue. They're actually both modelled as well, uh, so maybe future proofing it, maybe. Um, and yeah, we're going to make our way over to New York Penn, just as an ECS, uh, a deadhead service, I think, as they call it. Because we're not making any money, so we're sort of, well, we're dead. Yeah, it's nice to see the cab car back, although a little bit of a shame. It feels like a slight missed opportunity to bring back the SW1000R. I've seen a few people sort of saying, mm, I mean, it would have been nice to see that. Uh, as with Train Simulator 2020, this train and the SW1000R were packaged together. So you, uh, even though it said the DLC was the SW1000R, which is a switcher, um, it would also give you the cab car. So yeah, a slight missed, uh, missed opportunity not to bring that back, although maybe that will be DLC in future. Uh, although there's not really a lot you can do with it, as all as I think it does, it, it just runs around this yard. Uh, but yeah, it would have, would have been nice. But, oh well, I'm sure we'll see it in future. I'm sure they've got plans for it. See, the uh, depot's nice, uh, the yard's nicely uh, littered with uh, trains as well, nice and busy. And you're also probably wondering, where are the Long Island trains? Where are they? There isn't any Long Island Railroad AI at the moment. Maybe in future? I see what I said on the last take. I, I was just like, it's sort of a lot of work, but little benefit. But then thinking about it, we see southeastern services at London, Victoria, and Brighton Mainline, which obviously you can't drive them. They only last for what? half a mile but you see absolutely tons um so maybe in future the rad long up maybe you know if long island railroad gets upgraded or something maybe we'll see those ai services not sure maybe it would be next gen and pc only but they've modeled hunters point out we can fly over actually i'll fly off to hunters point avenue it's, it's all there. It's got all of its bits and bobs. Um, oh, there's a uh, regional service. Yeah, if we fly over. Uh, yeah, you can see it's here. It's even got the Long Island Railroad stop markers as well. Um, is that a collectible as well? <laughs> there's even a collectible here as well. Wait, hang on. NET New York. NET New York City. And you've got the um, that there as well. Is that surely that's is that uh, is that one of the new ones, or is that actually just a sort of a collectible which you can't collect and it's like a remnant of the old route? I don't know. That's quite cool. Mm, wow, interesting. I wonder what that's all about. So making our way out of here, 
Uh, yeah, beep, 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 beep. I've not got the safety systems on this la uh, last time, as last time they absolutely killed the train. So, not that, not great. I did something wrong and it didn't like it. So, to be on the safe side, I won't turn anything else on. Now we'll be going into the East River Tunnel, I think it is. And this side, I guess, is probably a bit less of a bottleneck because you've got four, uh, yeah, I think uh, two different tunnels. Whereas on the other side, you've only got the um, the one set that's a bit more of a bottleneck. There's the, uh, the Acela over there. Absolutely love it. The Acela is one of the best trains. It is it's fantastic. You'll see, if you've seen my first look video, it, it was literally a smile on my face the whole way. It, it was great. And into the tunnel we go, ignore the weird tunnel lighting. I mean, I suppose this is really just a little extra bonus part of the route. Being able to go to uh, Sunny Tire Jar, so just, just ignore all of that. Early days, early days it is. I mean, that's really the only scenery issue we, we've seen. Um, so, but yeah, I'm sure that would be, so it, only, it doesn't last long, just around here. Then it ends. There you go, back to normal. Uh, two and a half miles to New York Penn, so it's only a, a short video this one, but it's for gives us a look at the uh, Metroliner cab car. Um, and I, I'm recording this quite late, it's half ten at the moment. I've been recording all evening, so I thought, well, we'll get it in. And after this, I'll probably possibly do a little small video on the Union Pacific Heritage Pack. Maybe, I don't know, five minutes of each service in a different livery. It's something, I still haven't quite figured it out. Um, but something like that. I'll leave you a short video on that. Beep, 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 yes. There we go. And then we've shown off every train. Which I think is quite a good achievement. Considering how much time we've had to get the videos done. One evening. And obviously big thanks to Dovetail Games for giving us the key to show it off. Very nice to them. Now our platform's free at the moment. So I'm hoping we are cleared into it. There we are. So we'll be straight into it. Which is good. That's saying 20 on there. But as we don't have the safety systems on. We can go slightly, slightly faster. And yeah, the fuse panel's down there, so that's where you turn all of the um, uh, safety systems. But we'll leave them off for now. Very claustrophobic in here, though. Not really a place I'd want to be driving the train in real life, because it's just very... It's a very... It's just very claustrophobic in here. Very snug workspace. Oh, can we contact the signaller? That's a good call. Yes, I'll contact the dispatcher. Let's pop back down to uh, 15. Uh-oh, we're going a little bit quick. Uh, we'll be all right. The brakes are pretty decent. Yeah, yeah, look at that. Perfect. Also ignore the weird track. Oh, no, I think that's probably actually how it's supposed to be there. I just love seeing the new improved uh, New York pen though. It feels so refreshing to see it actually look decent. Uh, whereas uh, new Northeast Corridor New York, it looked pretty crap. Um, as half the station di hadn't it didn't load in until you were m really close. Um, and then Long Island Railroad, it looks all right on there. It didn't look the best. But it looked okay. Uh, but this is the best version of it, for sure. I, mean, I suppose it should be as it's the newest. Now this is New York Pen. A little bit naughty, do it. I don't know. I've got the uh, <laughs> the uh, uh, strobe lights on there. Why not? Oh, it's great to see in the Acela. I love the Acela. The cellar is certainly something special. 
I think I'm going to be on this route quite a bit. Uh, in the Acela, I, I mean, probably New Jersey Transit would do that a fair bit as well, but mostly in that Acela. I don't know, what do you guys think you'll be driving the most on this route? Mostly at some point I want to learn it hudless like that, as then that just always makes it ten times more enjoyable. That will take a little, oh my god, there's the uh, red light there. There you go. That unlocked the doors as well. I suppose this then goes into the, the next service, wherever that's going to be going. I think to Harrisburg, these ones go as they go down the Keystone Corridor. Look at that, though. It's fantastic. Oh, let's let's help out. Let's just open that up. Let's annoy the other drive. Right. There we go. Love it. Uh, well, that is uh, going to be everyone uh, for, I suppose, the last video on the New York Trenton route for today's first look videos. Hope everyone has enjoyed it. Uh, links can be found in the usual places, Discord, PayPal, Merch Store. And yeah, that was a, a bit of a sunny side yard. I suppose we've shown that off now. And hopefully we'll see you. Yeah, oh, I forgot to put on the number lights. Naughty me. And I'll see you all in the next one. See you all and take care. Bye, guys.